Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and today we are going to create this picture collage animation in After Effects without using any third party plugin. Now it's very easy to create and you can use it for your documentary edits or any kind of projects. So let's see how to make this. Alright, so I'm in After Effects. Now before we proceed, all the credits for the original animation goes to this YouTube channel called The Climate Brief. I saw this video and I really like this animation. So I was like, let's recreate it in After Effects. So shout out to them for making this very amazing animation. Now let's see how to make it. So first here you can see I have already created this grid composition and we have already some shape layers that are aligned in this grid pattern. So I have recreated them using the shape tool. Now if you want to follow along, then you can download this grid pattern and the After Effects project files from the link in the description below and once you have it you can just bring in your assets that you want to use so I'm going to use these images which I have over here so once you have downloaded the project you can open it up then import your images so let's place this one all you have to do is just drag it inside your composition now we are going to change the track mat of this layer so for that we can pick whip and just select this layer now in case you are using the older version of after effects then you won't have this pick whip instead you will have alpha mat alpha inverted so just set it to alpha mat and you can follow along otherwise you can update to the newer version so once you have changed the track mat we can press s let's scale this down and I'm going to scale it so that it looks through this circle. Once you're happy with this, we can select this top layer and let's just parent it to this bottom layer. Now, this is one of those steps that we have to repeat for all of these styles. So let's select this one and over here we can place any of these images. Let's select this image and we can drag it over here. Again, we are going to repeat the same step. First, change the track mode of this layer. Then we can select and press S. Let's scale this down till we find something that looks good. So somewhere around here. Now, after that, just parent it to this image. There you go. Now we can select other shape layers. So let's select this one and over here we can place this image. So let's again just drag in. After that change its track mat to the top layer. Then let's press S to scale this down and adjust its position. Till you see that your image is visible through this. And after that we can select the top layer and just parent it to the bottom one. So you can repeat this step till you have placed images into all of these grids. I will come back once it is done. So before we proceed, if you enjoy my work and you want to support me, then you can check out my Patreon page. Over there, you will get access to the tutorial project files, exclusive templates, and all the other advanced VFX and CGI tutorials that are available only on Patreon. So make sure to check them out. Link for that is in the description. Now let's continue. All right, so now I have added images to all of these grids. Our next step is to animate them. So first we can select like any of these layers and just simply click on this label color and let's select the label group. So it will select all of these images which we want to animate now we can press p let's move to somewhere around two seconds just click on position stopwatch so it will add keyframes for all of these so after that we can go to the very beginning now we can start animating all of these layers one by one so first we want this layer to come from the left side so let's select this and we can move it all the way to the left let's select the next post so which is this one we can move it all the way to the right Let's select this top layer and we can move it all the way to the top. This one we can move it down. Now we can animate these as well. So let's move them out. Do the same thing over here as well. Now we can select these and let's just bring them out. Let's select these and we can bring them out as well. Now we have moved all of these elements. We can animate these four images later on as well. So first let's move all of these images out of our frame. So let's just simply select everything and just move them out of this frame. So first we want our circle to be visible. So let's bring these layers in. So after this, we can select all of these four layers, which we want them to start animating in. Now we can play around with the easing. So select all the keyframes, press F9. Let's go to the graph editor. Now if your graph looks different, then make sure you're using the speed graph, not the value graph. Now we can select these endpoints and just change your curve to look like this so that they will come in like that now we want these two like come at once and these two later on so we can add a little bit of delay to them make sure to move the shape layer as well so you can see these will come and then the, we have this so once we have this we can bring in other side elements so let's just go to this point and we can bring all of these we have four over here and just play around with their position so once we have this can make it like start appearing again we can select the keyframes press f9 let's go under the curves and we can change it to the exactly the same curve now if i press play we have these elements coming in then we have these 
after that we can make all of those elements which we have over here to animate in so let's just bring them in now we can make these elements come from behind these so we can just simply go to this point and let's just move them to the top so let's select this we can move it little bit up it does not matter if this is visible from this top because once we add cut to this it will look seamless so let's just animate from the top as well so this one we can animate it from the bottom and this one we can animate from the bottom as well now we can select these keyframes press f9 let's change the easing to the same thing now let's play with the timing of it so we want these to like pop in somewhere around here now just go to the very beginning somewhere around here we don't want them to be visible so we can just trim them a little bit now we have these elements and at last we can select these last layers and just press F9. And we can make them come in right after this. Just select all the layers and just place them over here. Now we can stylize this more by simply adding some scaling animation. So let's just create a new composition. Let's call this one main. The rest of things will remain the same. Just click on OK. Now let's create a background, so right click new, let's add a solid and for this one we can change the color to let's say a little bit of this yellowish sort of thing, just click on ok. So here we have the background, now we can bring in our grid, so let's just place it over here. Now we can animate it by pressing S, let's add a keyframe, so this is going to be our final scale, so we can move this keyframe over here, now in the beginning we can like simply zoom in. Then select the keyframes press f9 now if i press play we have our very nice animation and all of these elements are nicely animated as well now at last we can add a little bit of shadow to this so select this layer press ctrl d now let's search for fill let's drag it onto this bottom layer quickly change its color to black let's apply cc radial blur let's drag it onto this bottom layer as well change this to fading zoom increase the amount to let's say 50 and after that we can change the center point and let's just move it to somewhere in the top it's completely up to you can make the light come from whatever angle you want but i like it from the top position now we can select this press t and let's change the opacity to 50 percent or you can just play around with this however you want you can make the shadow smaller by simply lowering down this value so I think somewhere around head also looks good. Now at last if I press play, you can see we have our very nice circle and all of these images start appearing from the outside as well. So this is how you can create these kind of beautiful collage animation. Now the project files for this tutorial is available on Patreon. So if you're supporting me over there, then you can download it from there. And if you're not, then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files, exclusive templates and all the other advanced VFX and CGI tutorials that are available only on Patreon. So make sure to check them out. Link for that is in the description. And with that being said, my name is Abhishek and I'll see you in the next one.